Let's go! The Dawn Trail job actions trailer. I'm so ready for this. I'm really interested to see what they do with the Astrologian, because I know they're reworking it. And of course, super excited to see Viper and Pictomancer. I'm gonna get to see a lot more of their skills. Anyways, let's get started. Oh yeah. Here we go. Level 100. Is the Viper a limit break again? Nice. You saw that in the benchmark. Alright, here's Dragoon. Oh, that looked new. Is that a new gap closer? I like Dragoon's spell effects a lot. Whoa, what was that? Alright, Paladin. I've yet to play Paladin. Might be the next one I try. Been thinking about trying a tank. Paladin is probably the first tank I try. Here's this epic combo that was in the Endwalker job actions. Oh, is that a, a fifth part of that combo? Alright, warrior. Dude, the background. Love all the mist coming out of the rainforest. That thing with the thorns, that kind of looked new. That was definitely new. Oh, here we go, here's Astrologian. Still have divination. Oh wait, the job gauge. There's like room for four cards. Well, three cards plus the Lady and Lord of Crowns. Whoa. Yeah, what? They're jo drawing three cards at once? Some kind of like double buff going on. Well, that looks really interesting. Here's Dancer. And 
another job I haven't played yet. Noticing most of these jobs are getting like one cool new ability, which makes sense. I'm guessing at level 90 it's kind of getting to the point where there's not really a whole lot you can add, so like one cool new spell is good enough for each job. Big new skill. Oh, music change. Oh, the bridge in the background. Nice. Mage has so much cool effects. Wow, nice. Machinist. All right, here's one I've played. This will be easier to see what's new. I think that was new. It's hard to tell because I'm not at level 90 with any job, but I'm just kind of comparing what I saw in the Endwalker job actions to stuff in this job actions trailer that I didn't see in the Endwalker one. This Wild West area is perfect for Machinist. Oh, nice. Ninja looks like it has some sort of new dagger gauge. Interesting. There's Ninja's cool new big thing. Each of these jobs is getting like a big new ability. Whoa, what is this place? This looks like probably one of the later areas. Yeah, each new job seems to be getting like one big new thing that's almost like almost li limit break quantities of epicness as far as how it looks. a new effect. 
There's the white mage standing in there. Does that mean there's gonna be some sort of ability? Oh yeah, the... Oh. Okay, he just changed where his ley lines were. There's another new gauge thing. Music here is kind of giving like Studio Ghibli vibes. Oh, here's Viper. That was the new job icon. Hmm. Job icon and looks really. Interesting. There's like different parts of the sword sliding up. Oh. Looks very fast paced. big burst window there. Here's White Mage. new thing I saw in the benchmark. Oh, is that gap closer for white mage? has a new like one two three thing in the job actions I leveled a monk until around a level level 50 or so and it's already so much I can't keep up and now they're making it even more complicated Big respect to people who play Monk in like high end content. To me, it seems like the hardest job of the ones I've played. And this dark area again. Was that a train track in the background? Dark Knight looks like it has a lot of its animations upgraded. this music.
hard. It looks like it has another new gauge. Like half of these jobs are getting new jo job gauges. Like a, a new addition to the job gauge. This is pretty cool. That looks really cool. Summoner. Are they getting a new primal to summon? Yeah, something tells me the vibes in this expansion near the end are going to be very different than the beginning. Okay, it looks like they have some new stuff just normally when they don't have any primal summoned, maybe. this. Wait, who's that? Must be a primal I haven't seen yet. creature design. Job they're saving for last. And Walker was paladin getting that epic new combo. Oh, what was that? Doing a lot more with the fairy, it looks like. Nice. Oh, here's Pictomancer. Oh, that's so cool. The job gauge is painting different pictures. <laughs> Attack with palms. Oh wait. They can summon weapons. Pictomancer looks so cool. I can see myself playing this job a lot. A cat paw. Oh. 
pit. They're painting like a patch of flowers around them. Like interacting with the terrain. This job looks so cool. This music sounds like something that's gonna play in one of the cyberpunk areas. Domancer is definitely the highlight for me. Let's take a look at Astrologian again. That's Divination. It plays. So yeah, it's like they draw three cards at once. Wait, hold on, are they. Okay, two melee buffs and one ranged buff. Wait, no. The color is the same on all three. Even though the the lightning one before was a different color than the other two. Hmm. And there's something new there. And then, like, double buff. Drawing three cards again. And something cool at the end there. Yeah, so a lot different as far as the cards. I wonder if they've changed like what the cards actually do since they all had the same background to look like. Whereas before there was like pink and blue depending on whether it was ranged or melee buff. Well that was the job action trailer. Very cool. I think it's a great way to showcase all the different jobs. Especially looking forward to playing Pictomancer. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you're new here, I'm a, currently a Sprout going through Stormblood. I'm streaming my journey, so subscribe if you'd like to join, and I'll see you all later.